let's just get started. So what we are going to do first is we are going to make a new widget. The widget that we are going to make, we're just going to throw it inside our inventory, inside our interface, and we're just going to name it. It's going to be user widget. It's going to be WBP Dropbox. Open it up. Dock it. Inside of Dropbox, we're going to make a size box. This size box is going to be overridden to maybe 400 by 300. Inside that size box, we're going to add a border. This border will have a brush color, something like that. Also on the border, we're going to add a, set the render opacity to 0.5. And then we're going to add a text inside of our border. We're going to have zero padding on it. Center it to the middle. We're going to have the text of drop item, parentheses, S, maybe size of 50. And that's how our Dropbox is going to look like. Now, over on your graph, we're going to override on drop. We want to cast to our drag drop. So inventory drag drop. As inventory drag drop, we're going to get the dragged item details. We're going to break that open. We're going to add a new thing to this, actually. So item details. Inside of dragged item details, we're going to add a new variable. This variable, we're going to call it from and it's going to be a type actor. Over on your drag uh, Dropbox now, what we're going to do is we're going to cast to, so if it's we're dragging from our inventory, we're going to cast to our BP inventory. If that fails, we're going to cast to BP chest, because we might be dropping it from the chest, right? Before we do anything else here, we need to make a new function over on our BP inventory. So let's head over to do that. We're going to make a new function. We're going to call this one drop item at index. Drop item at index is going to have three inputs. Number one is going to be the index. Number two is going to be the quantity. That's going to be an integer. Number three is going to be the item, which is, of course, our master item. We're going to need this one for our chest as well, but we're going to make it here first. Get your contents out from that. Get a set array element. Break that open, size that to fit, quantity is going to be zero, uh, item is going to be blank, and the index is the incoming index. What we're also going to do is we're going to make a new drop uh, items because we need to be able to drop it, right? So in your, just in your inventory folder, I'm going to make a new blueprint class. It's going to be an actor. This one is going to be called BP dropped item. Inside of BP dropped item, we're going to need a static mesh. I'm going to download one from Quixel, I'll be right back. Over on your dropped item, once you have your mesh i got the trash bag like so it's gonna roll a bit wonky you can add collision how you want it to be all is fine over on drop item i'm gonna block all on that i'm gonna simulate physics add a variable this one is gonna be called items of type dragged item details it's gonna be exposed and editable and then we're gonna add another one which is gonna be amount over here, we're just going to add a delay. I'm going to have a delay of uh, 15 seconds. And after 50 seconds, we're going to destroy ourselves. I want to go into class settings. What you could also do is, is you can make this a child of our of our pickup actor, which is honestly probably a better way to do it. So you can follow along if you want. Uh, we're going to steal the code from our pickup actor, though. So you could probably just make a child out of that. It's up to you. I'm going to implement the interact interface uh, if we go over here and you check here on the master pickup over on the interact just grab once you once you've dragged it you can paste it in here with control v move that return node out we need to make a new local fpp ref so let's do that like so so here we need to plug that in that's all of those over on dropped item, uh, where we are, we're gonna get our items. We're gonna break open our items. The item to add gets swapped out with that. The amount gets swapped out with the quantity. And we're not gonna have a pickup actor on this. Back over to your BP inventory. After we've set the array element to nil, we're gonna spawn, spawn actor from class. We're gonna spawn our dropped item gonna break open the items the item comes from our incoming item the quantity is the quantity index can be left as no items from we're gonna leave it as no we don't need any of that 
going to spawn it a bit ahead of us. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our FPP ref. Anything you want, 400 might be a bit too much, actually. Add these two together. Hold control to move your pin. Add these two together, and that's your spawn location. After we have done all of this, you can get your FPP ref. You can get your HUD ref. You can get your inventory, WVP inventory. And it's going to be swapped around for the chest later. But yeah. And then you initialize it. And then you return after that. So back into our Dropbox. After we cast to BP inventory, what we're going to do is as BP inventory, we're going to drop item at index. And later on, I might do a remake of the entire system where we combine these two into one so you don't have to do it separately. But for now, and for this system, this is how we're going to do it. Plug the quantity in. Plug the index in. Plug the item in. We're going to get our FPP ref out from our inventory. We're going to get the HUD ref. And we haven't added it to the HUD yet, so let's get our HUD. Inside of our HUD, I'm going to move this character screen. I'm going to move this character screen. I'm going to move it to the top left. I'm going to move this start stop to the middle top. And I'm going to add the drop item so the, the drop box size that to content i'm going to move that to the middle bottom we need to change the visibility to hidden compile and say head back to your b -b -b in head back to your drop box compile and save it out from your hud ref you're going to get your drop box you're going to set visibility to hidden and then let's do our chest as well so let's head over to our bp chest and make a new function drop item at index same inputs as before and we're just going to head over to bp inventory and we're just going to yoink everything from there index goes into index quantity is left as zero size that to fit we need to get a uh, contents chest contents that is our new array Items goes into item, quantity into quantity, everything else is left blank. After this, instead of our inventory, we need to get our chest inventory. When this is done, you can return. Compile and save, head back to your Dropbox. We're gonna do the same thing here. If it's the chest, we're gonna drop item at index. Item that we're gonna drop is the dragged item. Quantity is the quantity, index is the index. Out from our chest, you're gonna get your FPP ref. You're gonna get your HUD ref. You're gonna get your Dropbox. You're gonna set visibility to be hidden. And then you can return. If this one fails as well, you're gonna return as well. WBP inventory slot. On drag detected, after the branch, before we head into this, we're going to get our HUD ref, get our Dropbox, and set it to visible. Same thing for your chest slot. On drag detected, move this one a bit out. Yoink that from there. Set it to visible. One thing that we also need to do is on drop. So on chest drop where we cast to our drag drop. After we set the locals, and before we do our branch, we can put this in there. So we get our HUD ref, get our drop box, and then set visibility to be hidden. So after we drop it, it's gonna go back to be hidden. Copy that over to your inventory slot on drop. It's failing on everything. And that has to do with the fact that we haven't set our from. So over on your inventory slot first, on drag detected, where we have our dragged item details from, what we're going to do is we're going to get our HUD ref, and we're going to get our inventory ref, because this is our inventory. Over on your chest slot, uh, I could say that, over on your chest slot, uh, on drag detected, dragged item details is going to get come from our HUD ref, it's going to be get the chest inventory, and then get the chest, uh, not content, sorry, chest ref. 
that is the from actor. Pardon save, hit play. And there we go. It's spawning a bit in the wrong direction, a uh, wrong place. So let's actually fix that. Over on your use item at index. I'm gonna move this multiplier down to a hundred on the BP chest as well. Well and save, hit play. If I pick up something, we got some wood over there. Drop our item. They are going down. If I press E on it, I'm gonna pick it back up. So I got one wood. Picking it up, I got one wood. If I get three. Okay, it's 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 lost. If we wait long enough, it's gonna despawn. There we go, despawn. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how we will drop items. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and uh, I will try to do my best to answer them. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.